Hello and uh, welcome to Carrier Commands on the uh, Commodore Amiga. And uh, well, this is uh, well, it says you have a strategy or action game, but it's primarily a strategy game, sort of real time strategy game. Uh, uh, but if you start the action game, what it does is, is uh, it, it drops you in at a fairly advanced uh, point in the game where you've met up with the enemy and uh, just slug it out really, it's just, just uh, there's not, not not really that much strategy involved, it's really just so you can practice I think, uh, but we, we shall start the strategy game just so I can talk about stuff. So as you can probably guess this is your carrier that you play in the game and uh, okay and here we are. I'm trying to remember how to play this now. <laughs> um, let's have a look. So, you, uh, probably best for start of the map. If I can find it. Right, so you start. Uh, well, that's a bit unfair. Anyway, uh, uh, there's this uh, series of islands that uh, you have to sort of conquer. Uh, and what you do is you you build up your uh, your factory and resource islands so you can keep your resources going. Um, and the, the aim of the game is really to destroy the other carrier, which he started up here. All these islands are red; that means he's taken them. So we're the blue islands, so we've only taken one. And they're um, well. There's not. This is our our base island at the moment, so. What you really have to do is move to another island and and, and start it off. Start the ball rolling. So um, we shall head towards um, this island. We've engaged the autopilot, so we are now moving. But uh, it's not just uh, a case of uh, controlling the carrier. You, you can also control. Um, the walrus, which is a, oops, the walrus is an amphibious uh, vehicle, and you use that to drop pods in the island, and you can you can also armor with a laser to destroy um, defenses, and you can also use a manta, which is a light aircraft, uh, which you can use uh, was well, primarily used to um, destroy. Uh, Enemy. So I'll just uh, I'll tell you about I'll launch a manta just so you, you can see a bit more. I don't need to equip it with anything. To, to launch. So it's all driven by this uh, icon system which is really easy to use actually. And you can flex it. I'm now controlling the, uh, the Manta. And if I fly far enough away you should see the carrier. Turn on the radar. There it is. It's probably going to leave me behind but uh, Never quite overfly the island. So the, when this came out, I mean it came out eighty seven, eighty eight. Um, very, very impressive game when it came out. I think uh, not just because it had three D graphics, but because it opened up a whole new sort of genre of game that you probably wouldn't have had before. It's quite a lot, and the graphics are really detailed, and well, as detailed as it could be for the time, and very smooth. So this is a, a sort of a factory island. I suppose we better go back to the carrier. And at any time you can um, you can engage the autopilot, and you can just flick back to the carrier. So you can have more than one craft. In the, in the air at the time, or more than one walrus. 
Um, I don't know if Carrier is a. a let's have a look. Yeah, he's not got very far, is he? You can also, you can manually control it, you can turn off the autopilot any time and, and manually control the, uh, the carrier. Um, I'd better uh, bring this Manta back. You can set um, way, uh, a route, a destination waypoint for the, the Manta, so if we tell him to, to go here. You should then be on his way. And the carrier is also armed with its own guns that you can fire. And you can move the turret. Change the zoom factor, that sort of thing. So if we find the aliens, we can. Uh, it's useful for us. You can use it to um, monitor activity on the island as well. And you can also launch uh, little drones that surround the, th the carrier. Sort of defence drones that will shoot down missiles and things like that. Yeah, um, can't remember how to deploy them. And there's surface to air missiles, you can launch all sorts of. Uh, you can launch little drones. So you get a better view of what's going on. So Manta 1 has reached its destination. Oops. And all I, all I do is just fly in a circle until uh, I'm trying to find the carrier. There it is. So if we fly towards the carrier, we flip to the carrier, uh, Manta control. Can't remember this. So we'll, we'll tell the Manta to come home. So it now lands. Normally helpful if you tell the carrier to stop. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know what to stop. We should see the Manta landing in front of us. There we go. Engage the autopilot again. We'll just put the Manta away. Um, ch -ch -ch. Now one of the advantages that the uh, later versions had, like the, the PC version, had a, an accelerate time option. But uh, this version doesn't have that uh, option, so it means when you're uh, traveling to other islands, uh, it's pretty much done in real time. So it could be a little uh, on the boring side. What happens is once the carrier sort of leaves the vicinity of an island, it uh, speeds up. There we go, so it's going faster now. But yeah, I used to um, use these moments to, I mean, you can use them to go to the map and, and plan stuff. Pl plan uh, your, I mean, you've really got to plan your supply routes. I mean, that's that's the real core of the strategy, I think. Uh, plan the best route through the islands. Uh, you know, wh which ones are going to be factory islands, which ones are going to be supply islands. Uh, um, And that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty much the strategy side of it. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll exit this game. Just start a quick action game, just so you get a better feel for the action. So we'll just. Um, uh, 
from how do this. Um, so if I launch this. This is an enemy island, so we should be able to fire the missiles at any targets. Oops, if I equip the missiles. Oops, managed to fly into. <laughs> I'll show you the walrus. I, I haven't launched a walrus. Um, I'll give it a laser and I'll launch it. Um, it, it. It comes out the back of the carrier. So I've given it a laser. There we go. What you do is you can flip back to the carrier and you can normally watch. Uh... There you go. That's our, that's our little walrus there, making its way towards the beach. Oops, just got destroyed. <laughs> Maybe we can launch a drone. What you do is you can normally Talk to. Yeah, a bit rusty this actually, yeah. yeah that was my surface to air missile, but uh, I can launch flails and things like that. Uh. So you can see it's quite it's quite complex uh combat uh, strategy sort of hybrids. And when it came out I think yeah, it was it was pretty impressive for its time. I mean you're talking late late eighties here, you know, um, before the, the the real advent of PC gaming, PC gaming was just sort of taking off then. But uh, but uh, th this was very much a, a 16-bit game, uh, and you know, um, 8-bit owners were, were quite impressed with uh, you know with the look of it. Uh, and eventually, there was a conversion to the 8-bit machines. Uh, the Spectrum and version, you know, in Amstrad are fairly similar, but. Uh, Spectrum uh, version was uh, fairly, I mean it was 3D uh, and it was a fairly good attempt at it, but uh, to be honest, this sort of, uh, you know, icon driven thing, it doesn't really work that well with the joystick, uh, so the controls were sort of let down, but, but the graphically it was, was pretty good. Um, the Commodore 64 version, they, 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 they abandoned the idea of doing it in 3D, they just made it a, a sort of 2D scrolling uh, overhead, sort of shoot them up. Uh, uh, yeah, that was a bit disappointing. It, it didn't really work well, too well in 2D, but uh, so I've only just uh, I mean I've only just scratched the surface of the game, but I don't want the video to go on for too long. Um, but yeah, this, this is a great game when it came out. Um, no doubt about that. I give it 10 out of 10 easily. And uh, okay, graphically it's dated now, but. Uh, the gameplay is still still quite challenging and still quite uh, quite involving. You know, it's not for your casual gamer. You know, you've really got to spend a bit of time learning what all the icons are. And I mean, I've given I've given you an idea of what most of the capabilities are, but uh, it does take a while to get to get into the game. But uh, yeah, definitely a a game with a lot of depth and uh, you know, uh, quite a rewarding game once you give it a chance. But uh, but yes, it's not for your casual uh, gamer. Right, uh, well, 10 out of 10, uh, that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.